Okay, so apparently I missed a problem on the worksheet there, so on your um, guided note page. So I'm doing it now. This is example 4.7. So it says if f is a linear function, and then it gives us uh, some information there. It's actually an ordered pair. And then another one there. Find an equation for the function in slope-intercept form. So we still want to find the equation of the function. Um, we're going to treat this as 3, negative 2, because this is your input, this is your output, so that's one ordered pair. And then this ordered pair is going to be 8, comma 1. Um, again, your input, your output. Okay, so we can now find the slope. There's the formula for slope, and I'm going to make this x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2. So that's going to give me 1 minus negative 2 over 8 minus 3. I feel like we already did this slope. But, uh, I get 3 over 5 for the slope. And now I want to use the point-slope formula. Point-slope. So point-slope formula says y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. All right, so we're going to plug everything in, and we're going to have y minus our y sub 1 is negative 2. Our slope is 3 fifths. Our x sub 1 was 3. And so we're going to have y plus 2 equals, and I'm going to distribute that slope, 3 fifths x minus 9 fifths. So then, I'll have to do a little fraction work here. Uh, we're going to subtract 2 from both sides. y equals 3 fifths x. This is going to be a minus 9 fifths, minus 10 fifths. You've got to get a common denominator. And so my function is going to be f of x equals 3 fifths x minus 19 fifths. Okay.